Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Reverend Janet Nohavik. I'm pastor of the Journey Within in Pompton Lakes, New Jersey. So excited to see all of you here with us this morning. Joining us are the very lovely Minister Colin Bates and David Shearzer, and we'll be reintroducing them in a little bit um, after our healing segment of the service. As a spiritualist church, we do believe in spiritual healing. Um, if you were here in person at the church, it would be a laying on of hands in silent prayer. Um, since we're still in pandemic mode, our healers are here with us, and they'll be sending absentee healing. If you would like to put the names of anyone you'd like to request prayers for in the chat box, first name, last initial, no last names for confidentiality, and we will add those to the healing list. If there's anyone during the course of the week you would like to add to the list, just email or call the office. We're always monitoring everything um, uh, every day. So we'd appreciate that and our gratitude to our healers. So we're just gonna have a healing prayer and then we're just gonna go into a few moments of quiet meditation, piece of music. If you'd like to participate, just focus on your breathing and strengthening your immune system during this quiet time. Infinite and gracious God, as we draw together this morning as community, we pray for particularly Texas these mornings, the challenges they're finding themselves facing, their safety. We pray as well for a beautiful planet and the pandemic that surrounds it at the moment. We pray for the way forward and the way to put this behind us as well. We pray for all of you that may have people struggling with COVID at this time. And for all those who are suffering, either in body, mind, and spirit, we offer our healing prayers as we ask for a ministry of healing angels to draw near to us, to your homes. We pray as well, dear God, for the leaders of the planet that we come to realize we can live in peace with one another and that there is enough for all. Amen. As we come to the end of our healing moment, we send out prayers for all those you have requested in our healing chat here and all the healing books around the world. We pray for that presence of healing to come. We pray for each of your homes here, <clears throat> that they may be places of love, that you may feel the presence of your loved ones drawn near. We pray for all those this morning who have no one to pray for them. And in some small way, those people feel the best of humanity reach towards their hearts with the presence of love. And we pray, dear God, as well. Individually, may you and I heal those pieces of ourselves that may have been broken in this life. May you find the courage move past that into a place of healing and help others along the way because of what you've learned and endured. And we lay all of these prayers at the footstool of the Great Spirit, which we know to be love. Amen. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, it's my honor again uh, to come to you from the Journey Within in Pompton Lakes, New Jersey, along with our other 152 um, attendees. So as we come together in community, it's quite a large community this morning. So that's wonderful from all around the planet, actually. We're very blessed to have with us David Scherzer, who is a certificate holder of the Spiritualist National Union. He's a tutor in training at the prestigious Arthur Finley College. Uh, he offers classes and uh, I'll be telling you more about some of those when we come to the announcement. So welcome, David. Uh, also joining us is Minister Colin Bates, Minister from the Spiritualist National Union in the United Kingdom, as well as a uh, tutor at the prestigious Arthur Finley College. He travels the world, um, sharing on the philosophy of the religion of spiritualism and teaching mediumship, healing, and trance, amongst many other things. And just our dearest friends, I have to say, um, who we met. Um, uh, so as we come together this morning, we would open ask one of our gentlemen to open with prayer. Thank you very much. 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's come together in thought now. This time of prayer is very important because even though I am going to conduct a prayer, it is an act that we all create. You through your thoughts, I through the words. So however it is right for you, closing your eyes or how, leave them open, it's entirely up to you. But I'm asking you really to, through your heart, send out that love into the world of spirit and beyond for the power to draw close. Divine creative power that we call God. We have gathered here today to witness that life is eternal and we give thanks for this knowledge that we know that death is just another step within that journey of life. We give thanks for that knowledge that we know that our actions count while we are here on this earthly existence. And we are thinking of those people who are in need. We have created a beautiful energy of healing. But please surround them with thy love. Surround them with thy touch for them to acknowledge and realize that there is a greater power out there than just material need. We are here together as brothers and sisters, supporting one another. And through thy divine wisdom, which we hope to hear from throughout the address, for us to learn and gain an understanding, to maybe also gain help to take that next step on our pathway of life. We also reach out to those people in the world of spirit who we so dearly miss. Allow them to renew, reunion, reunite with us here today when the time has come. But more so, we ask that all, each and every one of us is allowed to feel the presence of God. With these words, I leave this service in thy loving hands. May it be wondrous. May it be incredible. So we move on with that reassurance that yes, the world of spirit is very real and very alive. Amen. Amen. I'd like to introduce one of our guests to share the address for today. It's always such a joy to have this time together. And as I was listening to the wonderful music of the healing, and then again with the wonderful words of the song that we've just heard, I was almost transported down the corridors of time to that place of memories where forever love and light exists and reminded of the fellowship and the friendship that we all share together. And we are gathered here within this time, within this moment, from all places within the world. And yet we are one within this single thought, this single thought of love, this single thought of support and of strength that we have. We have the most wonderful knowledge we have this knowledge that we are eternal beings of light, that there is no beginning, that there is no end, but this vast movement of time that is never ending, that we are growing, that we are moving, we are changing, and that constantly our thoughts evolve, our lives evolve. The people that we know come and go, be it for a reason, a season or a lifetime and leave their impressions upon us and upon our journey. And for me, really, that is the role of the spirit. It is to remind us of who we truly are, 
and of our place within the world, within the universe, and also within the heaven. For when we look above and we see the stars at night, we are reminded that we are part of this one stupendous whole that is the universe itself. And as I look upon the stars, I'm reminded of the words of Lewis Carroll, second star to the right and straight on till morning. For it takes us upon this incredible journey that is called life. And really, you know, especially at this time when there are so many within our world who are constantly battling to, to stay within life and to find the strength within life to keep going. It is such a wonderful reminder that within each one of us, there is this inexhaustible supply of love that is the power of creation, that is the power of good and of God, that has created you and I, and has awoken, and as it's awoken within us, we begin to listen to the voices of the world. We begin to embrace the needs of the world. For we have within us this extraordinary ability to share, to touch the hearts, to lift, to lift us higher and higher within this wonderful knowledge, but also within our hearts. For when we know that we are loved, we start to become love. The whole of the journey of life is one of transformation. And within the sense of transformation, we often look and stare down the corridors of the past. And we look emotionally to the people that we have known, the experiences that we have. And as we look upon them, it's a great time of healing. It's a great time of light. It's a great time of forgiveness and also of renewal. For we are reminded that as we are within this moment, we are also living and breathing this existence of life. And no one truly knows how long or short that journey may be. But one thing that we do know is that there is a far and distant shore that takes you and I further along this incredible journey to the world of light and mind that is called the spirit world, where we continue to exist, where I am I and you are you, and our memories that we cherish, those friendships that we forge within life remain ever constant and ever near and ever dear to each one of us. It is only when we become so involved within the physical life that we are separated from this universal knowledge. But when we seek and find the quietness of the heart, when we create the living prayer of love, there is no distance. There is no power that air can keep those I love away from me for we exist as one. Although of this physical life, we are from the spirit and there is still that sense of the soul that has a knowing and a longing to search and to explore life itself. And as we continue this extraordinary journey, those that have been a part of our existence, those that have touched our lives, even if it is but briefly, remain a part of our journey. And that for me is one of the greatest gifts that we have. For although physically we may be separated by distance, spiritually and within the power of the heart, we will always be together. And once that moment, once that coming together has touched each one, it is there for always. And that when there is indeed times of need, we can but open the heart, open our thoughts, and we receive that wonderful benediction of love. For you see the power of creation, the God force itself is a part of every cell of our being. It is the air that we breathe 
It is the joy within our hearts. It is the dance within our steps. And as we move into this time of the spring, as we begin to see those wonderful shoots with the ultimate promise that they bring with them, that we are restored, we awaken to the newness of the year and to the strength within us. For through the times of the winter, we have retreated into ourselves, into the great quietness, where within the quietness, we are reminded that this is but a moment of rest before we start once more to begin anew, to start afresh within our journey. As spiritualists, as spiritual beings, we have a wonderful knowledge. We have a knowledge that is totally universal and touches every aspect of life. For indeed, there are many pathways to God, but each one takes us to the great embracing of this wonderful mystery of all life. And that is what we seek to understand within life itself, to embrace the journey to the fullest, to wish each other well, to be there for each other, to be a strength, to be a guidance, to be a support, but above all, to share that, that inexhaustible supply of that goodness of all life that lies within the soul itself. For I truly believe that as we unfold the journey of life, as we begin to find and recognize that stillness within us, we begin to embrace it. We begin to listen to the still and silent voice that calls you and I to the power of prayer, to the silence, to that sense of acknowledging that within each one of us, there is a temple, there is a sacred space of our inner being, where forever that love and light exists. For it is indeed also a refuge from everything that is happening around us. And it is a strength in times of need. The power of the spirit is limitless. The power of your thoughts, are limitless. The goodness of our hearts is beyond measure. Do not limit the limitless power of who you are. Believe in the miracle of life, for you are a miracle. In the whole of the universe, there is no one who is like you. In your uniqueness is your beauty, just the way you are. And always remember, if you are good enough for God, then you are jolly well good enough for anyone. And that this limitless strength, this joy that we share is never limited. Do not limit who you are. Express and allow that wonderful essence to manifest. For truly, although part of the service is the celebration of communication, which is the ancient art of mediumship, being able to communicate with the spirit world, we all have that ability, for we are all interconnected through the power of love. And sometimes, you see, we're so immersed within the memories of those that we love that we don't always recognize that their presence is still with us. And so it is within the quietness and the stillness and the sending of a thought, which is a living prayer that creates a blessing in heaven. And I always perceive that to be, for the power of prayer reminds us of our divine heritage. It refreshes the soul, it uplifts the senses, and we feel that upliftment really move us beyond the physical limitations of life. And then within such moments, we know that God has heard us and that we have joined within the union of the universe. For really that is healing, that is the power of prayer itself, is to acknowledge the power that knows all, loves all, and indeed understands all. And that within our light, we are capable of supporting 
and strengthening the great work of the universe. We are all throughout the world within our own level of existence, our own knowledge of where we are within our place within the world. And my goodness, there are so many that are in need of our strength, our love and our support. And when we pray, the power will always hear you. For you cannot be where that essence of love is not. And truly, you know, one of the great journeys, one of the great aspects of life itself is to find our purpose within life, to experience and to understand why we are here within this existence and to truly recognize within ourselves that we are here for a purpose. We are here to expand and to celebrate the knowledge of life, but we are also here for each other. We are also here to move beyond race, color or creed, to embrace one another, for the light is universal. It is beyond all aspects of caste or creed, for in essence it is love, for that is God. Communication is created within that moment of joy, joy everlasting, that is so much a part of you and I and of this journey. We will never stop, we will never cease, and we will move forward when the time is right for you and I. But always remember you are loved. You are loved by a power that truly has no beginning and no end and simply is a part of everything. Let us celebrate that today and every day. Let us take but a moment of our time to dance in the joy of our own spirit, in the union of friendship and fellowship, for that is the eternal you and I. But do remember that although we may not physically be together, within this one moment of time, we are always and forever love. Second star to the right and straight on till morning. God bless you. Thank you, Colin. Thank you for those beautiful, beautiful words. We now come time for our announcements. And if we were in the church, our collection, if you're so moved, you can take a picture of that box next to the church and it will take you straight to a donation. It works. That's all I know. I don't know how it works, but it does work. Um, so we're appreciative of any donations, great or small. Um, tonight at 6.30, we have our student service that has become really quite popular, I have to say. So uh, wonderful if you'd like to join us again at 6.30. On Tuesday in the evenings, we have a healers gathering that comes together for those who work with healing. You can enjoy us, uh, join us for that as well. Almost every night of the week, there's something happening. Uh, Monday nights, there's an advanced mediumship group. There is also Journey of the Soul with Reverend Anna. Tuesday night, there is a beginners and a beginners intermediate group for mediumship. Wednesday night is our healing and message service. Thursday night is beginner psychic development. Friday night is a intermediate mediumship development. And then on Wednesdays now at midday, beginning on March 3rd, there is a 2.30 in the afternoon development circle for those people who have asked for something from overseas. Um, each weekend and throughout the week, there are different courses, some of them coming up. And uh, Karen did come back to me, Colin, she can move that back one hour, so we're all set. Uh, oh, wonderful. So I'm at four o'clock, not three o'clock, 11 yeah. o'clock. So on February 27th, next Saturday, the role of guides, that will be with Colin Bates. Um, so join us for that. Um, Tony Stockwell begins a class tomorrow. The Gift of Trance, that's for three days. Lynn Probert is beginning a class on the 22nd, I believe, a two-day class. Uh, uh, she's wonderful. Next Saturday, there are two demonstrations of mediumship you can join us for. Uh, Paul Jacobs will be with us. And then on March 6th and 7th, 
um, David Shearzer will be with us for the Healing Voice Within Trance. So a lot, a lot of classes coming up. If you look under the events page, um, there's something for really everyone. Um, uh, thank you for all the volunteers, the techs, everybody that keeps everything running around here. We're deeply appreciative. We couldn't do it without the small army of people committed to uh, the journey with them. We're very appreciative. Um, membership went out in the mail. If you're not a member and would like to join us, uh, please just send uh, Karen an email. She'd be happy to help you with that. Um, I don't know if I'm forgetting anything else. Usually I am. So somebody will type in the box. If, oh, there's a student demonstration of mediumship on March 8th. That's a Monday night. It's some of our advanced students. There's no fee for that. There's one in April as well. So please consider joining us for all of those. Um, so uh, in a moment, um, and I forgot to say this as well, if you are just finding this a difficult, challenging time, uh, you can reach out to the church and one of our ministers would be happy to spend some time speaking with you. Um, you know, if you leave a message, we'll uh, make sure we set that up with one of the ministers. Um, and if you'd like to donate um, any food, please bring along um, anything that's not glass or perishable. Um, you can leave it at the church door. We'll move that along to Kumak. There is a fundraiser demonstration as well for 6,000, um, which is for the needs of Africa at this time, where unfortunately there are still 6,000 children that die a day. So that's unacceptable. And uh, we will do our part. Um, so lots of things coming up. Um, we're going to be moving into our demonstration of mediumship in a moment. Before that, we usually have a piece of music as a spiritualist church, we do believe that life is continuous and through our demonstration of mediumship seek to reunite those here with those who have crossed over. If you can take 90% of what's said, 100%, please raise your little, I think they're yellow hands these days. So can a few people raise their little yellow hands? Oh, that was quick. Thanks a lot for that. And let's say you can take the first three pieces and not the next three pieces. Please then remove your little yellow hands. If all else fails, please type to me in the chat box. So if I go to bring in via voice and it's not working, uh, please try and chat to me in the chat box. But please don't put your hand up if you can only take one thing. Um, we really need you to take a great amount of the evidence. Um, but before that, we'll be moving into a piece of music. Just before we move into the demonstration, we have our prayer that we usually have. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there, I do not sleep. I'm a thousand winds that blow. I'm the diamond glints on snow. I am the sunlight on ripened grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in circle flight. I am the soft star that shines at night. Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there, I did not die. I'll turn the demonstration over to our guests. Thank you very much. It's such an honor and pleasure to be here. And uh, the, there is no coincidence from the world of spirit. It's really interesting. Uh, Beth Miller is singing about fly high and then there is a, a sports uh, aircraft just flying through. So I know the one that I want to talk to, and I believe this is a daughter, because I believe, uh, as I feel is I have your your father here and I know that there is an interest with your father in aircraft I have to say but also there is there is um, connection to the military service first I saw the navy but there must be also a, a relationship to the air force I have to say I feel that we are definitely in America um, um, well Geography is not my best, I have to say, so I'm not, I'm not <laughs> pushing these boundaries. But I, I need to say it anyway. There must be something that you know about, the one that I want to talk to about Savannah, you know, these kind of, of, of colonial houses and, 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 and some of it. It could be somewhere in this area. I know it's not very precise, is it? Um, what I also know is that your father must have suffered with... Um, bowel problems. I strongly feel that there must have been uh, something like cancer, bowel cancer or something like this. 
because it's very painful. Who understands father in the world of spirit? History with, with, with militaries or military connections seems to be really, really strong here. And the problems with the bowel, and I know the treatment that he had um, is, is, is honestly, it feels like chemotherapy or something like that because I feel sick after the treatment. Who understands that? Do I have someone? There's actually four hands up. Sue. Ooh, that's Sue. awesome. Five now, five hands. Oh, that's, that's a bit too much. Do you know what? I push my luck because I always heard um, Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor. So I know that your father would be kind in your eyes, a hero as well. The picture that he brings to me as well is that lovely, lovely, um, Terrace is the wrong word, but I know he loved his rocking chair because I seem to, to be on a rocking chair here. And you would have memories of rocking chair. Uh, still five? Still five. If you can take all of it, please remove your hand, please. It really needs to be important because- um, Four hands now. Three. Three. Nope, back to four. So mm -hmm. Josephine, Dale, Sue, and Lucy. Okay, one of these ladies would know that it started with the bowel, the treatment was given, but it spread into the brain. So if you can't understand that, if you could remove your hands, please. Um, we have two hands, so I'll bring them in. The first is Lucy. Yes. You can unmute yourself, Lucy. And let us know what you understand. Uh, hang on. Who of the two? understands the connection from father, from your father to Rose and Betty. It feels Betty is an aunt. So Lucy, are you unmuted, dear? So can you hear me? Yep. So I have an Aunt Betty. You understand Aunt Betty? Yes. And you can understand all this information? My father was in the Air Force and um, he had cancer of the lungs though, and it went to his brain. Okay, because I, I, was, I was aware that something was wrong in his bowel and that was very painful. That needs to be right. Let me just bring in Josephine. Josephine, no. you and unmute yourself. I'm not sure if she meant to put her hand up. Josephine, can you unmute? Mm. No, she's not at being able to unmute. We just have Lucy with us. Okay, Lucy, let us let us let us work a little bit. But you would understand with with your relationship and your dad, he was your hero. Absolutely. Absolutely. And do you see what I also know with your father is from the time he received treatment, it went very quickly downhill with him. Yes. And Did you know, you... my grandfather just passed as well and everybody called him the hero. He was in the army and I helped take care of him and he was almost 25 okay. years old. Okay, but that would also fit with, with the military connections. Would, would your grandfather be connected to the Navy, please? Army. 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 Okay. Uh, I, need, I, need to, I need to move on because, I, I, I mean, with, with you, Lucy, I have to say, otherwise this, this connection is... Um, but you, you, you agreed that it went very quickly with your father as well. Good, thank you very much. Because all of us and I see that that your father must have really adored you, adored you. So I know we don't have favorites, but it seems that you were a favorite. Yeah. <laughs> because because it's like it's like I give you like candies, but don't tell anybody else. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it, it's like it's a bit naughty because it's really it, it happens in, in in secret. And do you also understand then, Lucy? Because all of us and I see this this swing, that he built you a swing out in the garden. Hmm. We're going back in time. No, but, but he had a, a long time, he had a, a little tail that he 
We had a little chair that we tied to the tree. Well, I forgot about that. I couldn't hear that. Is that correct, Janet? That's correct. They had okay. a string they tied to a tree. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, this is what I want. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, there is such a joy um, because you never grew up in your, your dad's eyes. You were always the, sm the, the little girl for him. Yeah, I still am. <laughs> yes, you were. And even though he needed help, but but he was able to, to um, because your, your dad is a very proud man too. Yes. Yes, and dignity was really, really important. But what is so beautiful, from you, he could he could endure everything. So so you could do everything for him and and with him. So there was like this, what, what people, other people wouldn't be able to do with your dad. You were able to do this. Yes. Yeah. Because I also feel with your dad here that um, he was looked after by nurses and he didn't like how he was treated by them. No, I was there to protect him, make sure everything went right. <laughs> yes. So I just, I just, I just, you know, it's like this feel, but, but you grew up in a family that does everything for family. There is no question that we, 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 we give up our time to look after family, right? Yep. Yeah. So we'll and there is, there is nothing more important than family. And he's so happy to be still remembered, to be still part of, of the family. Because I know when you have celebrations, when you have family gatherings, dad is always very fondly remembered. Yeah, we actually had a, his favorite cake for his birthday. Okay. Okay, so that was just recently then. Okay. okay, just know that your dad is very much part of the family. Okay. Thank you. But also for you to important for you is also take on help if you need the help. You don't have to do everything on your own. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but now it's, it's, it's about bringing it into action. If you need help, ask for help. People will love to help you because you do so, so much good for other people. Okay. He brings back this, this time of the swing and he pushing you and, and just have this, this leisure. You know, those, those memories when we were together, when we had a good time. Okay. Okay. Thank you, so much. Thank you very much for working with me. Thank you, Lucy. Now, as I was just, as I was just, um, I have a lady here. And as Janet played the song, The Wind Beneath My Wings, I heard her voice. And I know that I've got a mother here. And the first thing she said to me was, very nice, but that wasn't my song. My song was The Rose. So I need to, and I feel as if I need to speak to a daughter. So I've got mother in heaven. And one of the songs that she loved was The Rose by Bette Midler. There was something to do with roses that were put together for her funeral. And also that song was either played before she passed or it was played at her funeral because it was something that was very, very important to her. And I just have to say, this mama is so full of, full of life and, and so full of energy. And she would always follow what was right for her within life. And she would have installed that within you. So who understands mother in the spirit world, a link to Bette Midler and the Rose, a link to roses, and there's something to do with hair and your mother. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hi okay. there, Colin. Okay, my darling. Can you understand all of this? I can understand all of it. It's very relevant. The song. I, okay, let me work and you just say yes, yes, yes. It's marvelous. Yes. Because I know that I've got your mother here and I know that there's something to do with hair, but there would yes. also have been something to do with you and hair as well. 
Is that right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. To, because all of a sudden here, I saw this gaze looking at hair and then I heard a voice saying, well, I like it anyway. So I know that there would have been a little bit of disapproval at some time or something either didn't go quite well with hair. But I know that your mother would have changed her hairstyle. Yeah. And all of a sudden she just went, well, I like it anyway. So I know that your mama's a bit of a rebel. Can I say that? <laughs> yes. In a really good way, because yeah. she, she seems to, she seems because she's not overly tall, your mother, you see, and she seems to, um, she seems to take over the room, you see, when she's in, when she's in full, when she's in full flight, as it were, it's yes. as if everybody listens and everyone takes notice. Yes. And she just seems to sparkle, because I really do seem to feel that. I know you see that you would have gone through a very difficult time when your mother passed. Yes. And I know that she really, uh, part of the reason that she's here is to say, see, I never went anywhere anyway. And, <laughs> and secondly, to really support you and to strengthen you. The colour of your hair has changed, by the way. I do feel that in some way. And that's to do with the past and to do with the present. But this sense of supporting you and this sense of strengthening you, because I know in life, you see, she always would have done that. And there's yeah. a connection to the name of Elizabeth or bet elizabeth or bet seems to connect to her there within some way do you know that uh, i think it's both both names. okay this is fine because it just seems to come uh, very much there um uh, around her and when she passed to the spirit was there something about her hair Was there something about her hair? Either she couldn't, she couldn't do it or she couldn't get it done because as she presents herself, she just went, look, it's beautiful. Uh, well, she, yeah, she wouldn't have been able to. Okay, because for her. for her in some way, you see, it was very important that everything looked right. Yes. And as she presented herself to me, um, I had this just this lovely feeling and she said look everything is right everything is right and everything is fine and everything is well she definitely would have lost weight before she passed is that right I think that's probably true yes because I I really do feel as if I really do feel as if the whole of the body is changing before she takes her transition she loves music absolutely because all of a sudden I'm tapping my foot and I'm starting to dance a little bit with my feet. So I know that she loved, she loved the snappy tunes. She, she, she snapped, she did that with her feet a lot. With because music. all of a sudden my feet are going, you can't see me, which is thank goodness, because I'm wearing jeans and a suit top. Because my little, <laughs> my little feet are going up and down like this. And I just seem to hear that. And when she laughs, she's got the most beautiful sense of laugh. There's something to do with earrings as well. There's something to do with earrings. Either there's a collection of earrings or you have the collection or there was also earrings that belonged to grandma. Is that right? No. OK, because she used to. Do you understand about clip on earrings? Yes, yeah, she may have had some. I don't have them. OK, because I seem to see quite a collection, but I know that they're the clip on sort and not the sort that you put through your ears. That's correct. Because in, in like the 60s and the 70s, she'd have looked smashing, I'm telling you now. She's, <laughs> yeah. she's, very, she's very dressed for the time. And, and there's just this feeling that this was her time. And that she really, there is beautiful photographs of when she is younger. Is that right? That's true, yes. And she just says, well, look at me. And you're starting a new life. You're starting a new life and a new journey. Yes. And she's really supporting you and strengthening you. And she just says, now, come on now. Come on now, because it's time. It's time <laughs> to turn the page. It's time to get moving. And it's time for you to have some fun. Will you remember that? Oh, absolutely. Because That's it's so true. important here um, at that time. And, and it's interesting because I spoke about Bette Midler and the Rose, but it's as if there were times within her life where certain songs meant a great deal to her and you are the same 
that you yes. are very reflective when you hear certain songs. Yes. yes. And yes. that's where you meet, you see, that's, that's the palace of dreams. When you meet in the spirit, it's through song, you see. Yeah. And it's through those memories and, and through those happy memories. She just said, you know, you've had an eventful life, but you had to go and live your life. I understand. You had to go and live your life because there was no choice and that she supported you and she really, really wished you well. Somebody knows of San Francisco or somebody's been to San Francisco. Do you know that? Uh, well, I've been to San Francisco okay. 10 years ago. Okay, then this is fine because all of a sudden I saw the hills of San Francisco and I saw the bay and then all of a sudden I was playing a guitar and there was a lot of laughter and, and it was just, it, it's as if you need to go and you need to find yourself and she's supporting you within your new journey. Will you accept that from her? Thank you very much. Because she's really wishing you well. And somebody knows of New York as well, because all of a sudden I'm walking the streets of New York. Yes. So there is another connection there that comes there. But if I'm also correct, is your father in the spirit world? Yes, he is. Because I've got your father here and he just seems to just come in quite quietly and quite gently but then just wanting you to know that he's here and that he's with you and that he's sending his good wishes. Oh, thank you. Will you accept that? Because there's a great quietness with your father. He's not a man who would jump up and down like your mother. He True. would come in, you see, with this strength and with this quietness. And I like the sound of his voice. I like the sound of his voice. When he talks, I like to listen to him. Yes. But there's a quietness here and there's a strength with him and all of a sudden he just does this with his hands and he says you know there's nothing you can't do if you just put your mind to it and that's what a type of man he is and that's what you've become because you've now taken decisions where you're going to live your life you're going to do it your way and there's nothing that you cannot do will you remember that Oh, absolutely. Thank you so because much. Because I feel in some way that that's really important. He's not a man of great words. And I don't feel that, that, that when he passed, he had a lot to say. It's, it's as if there was a quietness there uh, before he left this world. And there's definitely a connection to John there. There's definitely a connection to John in some way because the name comes around him quite strongly. Do you know that? Uh, it always shows up because it's on my husband's side. Okay, well, the name yeah. just comes yeah. and it comes around there, uh, and I just seem to feel it. And um, he likes sweaters, he likes wearing sweaters. Odd thing to talk about, I know, <laughs> but he just, he, he just, just feels nice. I can't put it in any other words, but he liked big sweaters. Is that right? Um, probably, I mean, okay. where he lived and everything, yeah. All right, okay, because that's how I just seem to feel with him and, and with the sense and, and, and with the strength. There's a lot of sorting out being done. You're going through a lot of different things. I'm touching papers, I'm touching ornaments, I'm touching pieces of jewellery, and I just seem to be taking stock of everything and just really looking at just all the past and going through that process. Keep it with you, but now it's time to create the future within the present will you remember that absolutely and all the love that comes there as well nice writing of your mother as well yes I mean really nice writing because I'm looking at it and I'm thinking oh that's beautiful so I know that that she could write beautiful words and that words meant a great deal to her and that she's very sentimental and then I've got pieces of paper and then I've got things that are written on them and she'd make notes and, and, and they were very precious to her. Yes. Okay, take all their love and know that they're with you, my darling. What a beautiful message. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, you're welcome. But just remember, new chapter of life. So it's chin up, chest out and get on <laughs> and do it. There's mother's <laughs> behind so you much. and she's pushing yeah. you on. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, gentlemen. Lovely demonstration of mediumship. So that brings us to the end of service. We'll be closing with song and prayer, regret and gratitude for all of you that came here today. 
to our virtual church. Um, so lovely community with all of you this morning. We particularly like to thank our guests, um, David and Colin, and we invite one of them to close with prayer. Oh, is it me? As we just stay within the presence that we have created, may all the love that's touched our hearts travel forward upon the wings of prayer to touch all those in need, not only within our world, but indeed the worlds beyond. May the presence of the Spirit gather around each and every one of us. May we know that we are loved. May their blessings shine a light upon each and every one and their homes represented. Keep us ever safe, ever near, and ever dear eternal Father to that love which is yours. And as we go our separate ways, may that love stay within us now and always. Amen. Amen. We love you guys. We can't wait to see you again in person. We love, we love you, you too. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Oh, yes. And you too at the shore. Thank you. I'll send you pictures. Do. We'll be thinking of you, my darling. Bye. Everyone take care. Bye. Bye, everybody. See you soon.